We are on day 17 of our 21 days of prayer. You are doing great. Keep going. It is worth the journey. I'm proud of all of you for going on this journey uh, as we do this together. Now, today what I want to do on day 17, I want to talk about a different kind of asking. We talked about petition yesterday, which is asking for our needs. Today, I want to talk about intercession. Intercession is asking God to meet the needs of other people. And I think intercession is one of the most selfless things that we do for other people. Uh, if you've ever heard someone say, pray for me, what are they saying? They're saying, would you intercede for me? But it's, it's selfless, selfless from the standpoint of we're taking our own time and uh, we are seeking God on their behalf. And for many of the people that we intercede for, they'll never know, but we get the privilege of going to God and asking God to move in their life. And we get to see that and be a part of that. And we see that intercession is a very common thing throughout the entire Bible, especially in the New Testament. You'll see that Paul will often say, hey, pray for me as I do. And he talks about then what his next work is. Uh, in the book of Hebrews, you see they talk a lot about intercession. In the Old Testament, there's this great story where the Israelites are being attacked by a, a enemy nation. And uh, Joshua sends uh, the Israelites, and Joshua's going to lead them, he sends the Israelites to fight against them. Well, while that's, that's going on, Moses, Aaron, and Hur go to this mountainside, and uh, Moses is, begins to hold his arms out, and God says, as long as you hold your arms out, uh, Joshua and the men and the army will defeat the enemy. But when your arms go down, they will lose. And so then he enlists Aaron and Hur to hold his arms up, and the entire time this goes on, Joshua and, and the army of the Israelites defeat their enemies. What's Moses doing? Moses is interceding on the behalf of, of the Israelites, and it's having an impact in their lives. And that's the power of intercession. And so I want to give you two application points as we, as we do this intercession type of prayer. Uh, just like yesterday, if you saw yesterday, I want you to make a list of two or three things that you're interceding for others for. And once again, anything goes. Anything goes. And then the second thing is, is the same thing as petition. Here's how I want you to do it. I want you to do it boldly, I want you to do it specifically, and I want you to do it persistently. Boldly because we're invited to do it boldly and we can have confidence as we do. Uh, persistently because it, it may take weeks, months, and years for some of the things. I, I've been praying for some people for 15 years. My grandma prayed for me for 24 years to find Jesus. And then specific. Uh, general prayers get general answers. Specific prayers, we see specific answers. And then as a result, it points to the work of God not our work.